I'm Peter Trope from Discovery Trail Snowmobile Association. I'd just uh, like to give you a little bit of information on some new trails and some new access points to our lovely town of Clarenville to make your experience the next time coming through a little more enjoyable. We're going to do this little instructional video so that we can show you that when you enter from the east, we have sort of three locations. The first one in the east will take you out to the Clarenville Inn and the Quality Hotel. And the middle location, which is where we're standing, as you can see our UR ear map right beyond us, will take you to uh, the center of Clarenville, which has services such as the Wave Motel, uh, Mary Brown's, uh, food, gas. And then we'll take you to our third location, which is on the western end of Clarenville. And we'll show you what uh, services that you can access at that point. And at that point, you'll actually be in uh, the Shoal Harbor section and we can show you how to access services uh, on Shoal Harbor Hill such as the Shell Gas Bar and Walmart and other uh, services that you can avail of in that area. Thank you. Okay, so here we are at the first entrance into Clarenville and this is locally known as the Long Run. From this entrance, uh, being the closest to uh, Goobies, uh, when you go out this way, you can access the Quality Hotel and also the Clarenville Inn and the Orange Store and Gas Bar. So this is your first entrance to the east and this is the great way to access accommodations and some gas, conveniences, whatever you need. And also wintertime, uh, this is where the bulk of the parking is uh, I'm probably one of your best places that you can park safely and access the track. Okay, so we're here now at the second location, which is in the middle TCH. of town. So when you get to the you are here sign, come on through and under the TCH, a couple hundred feet, swing left, take you right up over the hill to the Wave Hotel, Tim Hortons, uh, Mary Brown's, and there's plenty of gas up there too. So it's a great place to uh, access services in Clarenville. Thanks. That's our second location, and we'll travel out the trailway here so that you can see the new trail, and be careful crossing the TCH, and then we'll take you over to the western end of town and show you the location over there. Okay, so as you're traveling from the east, uh, you come from basically our URA Air sign, you've come along the Chalet Trail, you cross over Roy Hills Road, and now you get to an intersection. When you swing to the right, you go out towards the Trans Canada, and that'll take you down to the, what we call, we're gonna call Eric's Run, and that'll take you down to uh, Shoal Harbor and the track as you head west towards Terra Nova. As you can see from the signs here behind me, Terra Nova and Shoal Harbor is to the right. And if you want to go straight through, if you're looking at, if you're coming through on the winter, you can go on in towards uh, White Hill Ski Resort. So we've showed you the uh, first uh, entrance on the east, being the line run, the second one at the tunnel. So here we are now located at the third entrance. The third entrance to Clarenville is now that we've completed, as you can see, be honest, we've completed our, our bypass around Clarenville, we've come to Chalet Trail on Eric's Run, and we're back at the uh, Newfoundland Trailway on the western end of Clarenville. So from here, you can actually swing right and go on into Shoal Harbor, and once you go into Shoal Harbor, you can actually access uh, Walmart at the top of the hill, the Shell Gas Bar. Uh, other amenities that you may need up there, uh, whichever, whatever you need. And also from here, you can actually access the Cormac Trail. So by swinging right here and going out into Shoal Harbor, as you can see out to the track, you can actually go out here to Shoal Harbor Drive, cross the bridge, and then you can begin the Bonavista Branch Line towards the community of Lethbridge, where you can cross over the river, Southwest River, and take Sexton's Road and come back up to Thorburn Lake area and complete the Cormac Loop via the Newfoundland Trailway back to here. It's a 76 kilometer route and it's very scenic, a very beautiful drive, a very beautiful ride both winter and 
uh, in summer by ATV. And there's also a warm-up hut on that trail as well if you want to stop and have a lunch. And there's also some beautiful scenery and lots of wildlife to take in. Okay, so I hope that uh, helps explain the new route around Clarenville. Thank you.